everyone welcome to talent team tv today we'll talk about why you should consider upgrading your success sector instance to sap identity authentication services in short ias what is ias ias is a cloud solution for identity lifecycle management it provides services like authentication single sign on on premise integration and it can even act as a standalone idp it also supports uh, user self service registrations and password resets what are some benefits of ias of course it leads to better user experience it supports conditional and risk based authentications and it also can act as a standalone uh, identity provider who should upgrade to ias if you satisfy any of these three criteria that i'm about to say you should look into uh, upgrading to ias number 1 you want to upgrade or uh, integrate your success factor instance to existing uh, success factor applications that you are using in your organization the integration is seamless between sap uh, applications and third parties number 2 uh you need additional functionalities like for example two factor authentication which are not natively supported by success factor ias really supports these kind of functionalities and you can make use of them number 3 if you are a new customer and your instance was procured before quarter 1 of 2020 how does upgrade differ if you are a new customer or an existing customer so if you are a new customer and your instance was created after quarter 1 of 2020 then uh all new sap success factor systems are automatically connected to sap cloud platform identity authentication service with default setup of course you will have to take some steps to make the better work for you uh, we make the setup work for you better if you are an existing customer right then you can follow this simple five step process to make an upgrade into your instance number 1 you would go to a upgrade center and uh start the upgrade under platform called uh, integration with identity authentication services then you would set up your corporate uh, identity provider your current active directory uh, to ias um uh, uh and this is conditional in case you want to use a uh, corporate active directory then otherwise you can even do the setup with ias without corporate active directory of course you will set up some additional options in ias called uh, let's say uh, login options user groups passwords and and certain policies right or ip restrictions and such uh, number 4 is that you will have to configure something called ips which is identity provisioning services This service allows you to take your user data from success factor and keep it synced always with IAS right and you will set up it like a daily sync job and then the last step is simply going into provisioning and switching on the single sign on switch for this uh, integration to work now what are the functionalities that are dependent on IAS uh, and what's additional benefit apart from uh, uh, you know being an active directory you will get for example sap has come up with a new reporting solution called people analytics which uh where uh ias is a prerequisite and if you want to make use of this functionality you need to have ias set up in place first uh let me give you some other examples internal career website logins are also driven through ias now if you are using functionalities like global assignment and concurrent employment you need ias uh if you want to enable partial sso going forward with success factor you can do that with ias and of course if you are looking into two factor authentications it will be available via ias to you so really uh, it brings a lot of new features and functionalities driven just because uh you know both of them are, are in the same landscape uh highly recommended feature i hope this session was uh useful for you uh thank you for watching we'll see you soon bye bye